Vibrant Living is brought to you by Springwater Insurance Group, teaching you how to buy the best Medicare and supplemental plans for your needs, and Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington, enhancing a person's ability to maintain a life of independence and choice, and Link Transit. Take that first step. Learn how to ride. Hi, this is Dee Clark with Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center, and I manage our travel program. Um, we do a lot of day trips within our region and our state. We'll do multi-day bus trips to different areas um, of our country, and also we do um, some international trips. What we're gonna talk about today is our trip to Scotland. We did a um, Isles and Glens trip. So what we did was the perimeter of Scotland, up the west coast and up to, up north to Orkney Island, and then back down the east coast to Edinburgh. We stopped at a couple of different um, historic places, and one of those was the Ring of Bulgar. Now, this is a Neolithic ring and hinge, um, similar to Stonehenge, um, but this one is the, the most complete circle anywhere in um, Scotland and it was believed to have been built between 26 and 24 BC. Um, and it's never been excavated, so they don't really know the true um, age of it. And so a lot of mystery surrounds this. They do know that there are burial mounds there, however. Moving on to um, another Neolithical site on the Isle of Orkney is uh, Scar Bray. And Scar Bray was um, first discovered in 1850. A storm came in and washed the top off of a um, grassy knoll sand dune. And underneath was this ancient um, farming community. The people lived underground and uh, their houses were all built under, underground out of stone. And it's believed to um, date back more than 5,000 years. A few of the castles that we uh, visited on, uh, in Scotland were the Eileen Donan Castle. I always thought, as do most people, I think, that it was named after a woman. <laughs> but it actually literally means Isle of Donan. So this little castle um, is recognized worldwide as probably the most photographed castle in Scotland. You see it on um, cookie tins all the time and um, calendars, things like that. Dunrobin Castle is the stately home of the Suther Sutherland clan in the Highlands. Um, the, and it's the family seat of the Earl of Sutherland, who incidentally still lives there. You can um, tour the inside of part of the castle, the other part of the castle, the family still maintains and lives there. Um, but it, it's just incredible to be able to walk through these stately homes and, and see all the, the paintings and the furniture and beautiful landscaped gardens. And lastly is the Edinburgh Castle in Edinburgh. It sits up on a, on a hill. It was actually built in 629 AD by King Edwin of Northumberland. Um, and it was originally a fort. So when you go into the main gates of Edinburgh Castle, I expected it just to be you know, one big huge castle, but it's more of a fort with many, many, many different um, buildings in it. It's also the site of the annual Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo, which we have a clip of, of that also. This is a um, 
military pro tattoo performance when they invite uh, performing marching bands from all over the world. Of course, they have to be military to perform at this. Um, in August of every year, it's an annual event. There were just under 50 of us, um, and we, we were able to have a group photo taken just right under the hill of Edinburgh Castle. So um, it was a very diverse group, you know, some older, some younger, some had ties to Scotland, some not. Um, but yeah, we had, a, we had a great time. It was a wonderful group. Included in this particular package um, were our flight, round trip flight, um, all of our accommodations, most of our meals, we get, breakfast every morning, um, some dinners, and then usually lunches on our own. Also entrance fees to everywhere we stop. So it's pretty close to being all inclusive. You do have a, a few um, expenses, you know, if you want lunch or if you would like to have a drink with dinner. Or, but most of our um most of our tours are structured that way, so they're not completely inclusive, but close to all-inclusive. I know um, a lot of our travelers are really anxious. We have lots of great ideas and trips that uh, we'll be working on here in the future as soon as we can start traveling again. We've talked about uh, maybe a uh, Panama Canal cruise. And that would be a, a sail through. So it goes from like Florida to California. So it's not just going into the canal and into the lake and then back out the canal in the same direction. It will actually be um, a sail through. And that's it for our travel program for this segment. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I'm Jim Heinlein owner and agent here at Springwater Insurance Group in Wenatchee. And you know what? If you're turning 65, I have a present for you. Now, it may not be Christmas anymore, but I do have a present. Because when you're turning 65, you can join either a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. And I want to focus on the Advantage plan because that's where all the goodies are. That's where all the presents. Because see, a Medicare Advantage plan, it does all the coverage of Medicare A and Medicare B. But the Medicare Advantage, why does that word advantage there? Because they do more than Medicare. And that's where the goodies come in. Like, I want to give you a present of dental benefits. Yeah, Advantage plans provide dental benefits to folks. Also, health club membership. You know, one way to go into the later years in life is to go in fit and strong. And that's why these Advantage plans provide health club memberships to you. There's a lot of different Christmas presents that I can provide to those turning 65. And if you're curious about it, give us a call at Springwater Insurance Group. Dave Tosh, Executive Director, Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. Today at the center, we've been handing out uh, Aging Mastery Program Starter Kits, the AMP Starter Kits that was uh, displayed on the front cover of our January newsletter. Uh, it's early January, a little cold outside, decided I'd move back in, but uh, for those of, uh, of you that were able to participate today, you got to you got some cookies, fresh baked cookies right out of the oven uh, along with the, the starter kits. This is what a starter kit looks like for those of you that weren't able to come out and get one. Just want to say that we have quite a few kits available so that um, if you weren't able to come out and get one today, uh, we will make sure you get one if you uh, call. Leave a voicemail at 662-7036 or just email uh, us, uh, D, at at WenatcheeSeniorCenter.com, that's D-E-E, -E, uh, and we will make sure we get a kit to you. But <clears throat> along with the kits, and we're doing these kits, obviously, because we're closed and we can't do the, uh, the classes, the in-person uh, classes that we did uh, about a year ago, uh, we have a Zoom meeting that we're setting up. Uh, now, this is going to happen pretty quick, so I don't know by the time you see this video, it may have already happened. But the bottom line is uh, that we are attempting to do some classes uh, through Zoom meetings 
And uh, you can get that kind of information out of the newsletter and on our homepage of our website. So again, uh, today's been a pretty busy day. I had a lot of folks come out and get their kits. Uh, just want to make sure that you're aware that we still have kits available. And also we'll be doing uh, Zoom meetings, uh, conducting classes through that uh, platform. And uh, any questions, please call or uh, email us and we will get back to you. And uh, you'll see more information coming on these kits. Again, it's helpful for you to get a kit so that we get credit for it and we do get uh, some funding uh, associated with that. And there's no cost to you as a member or anybody in the community that's 60 years of age or older. Thanks, and we will see you soon at the Senior Center. So um, we just had uh, a couple arrive here to pick up their AMP kits. Uh, we had that in our January newsletter that uh, we're going to drive a, have a drive through from 10 to noon today. And, and if you could just introduce yourselves real quick and, and uh, tell us a little bit about how you found out. I suppose it was in the newsletter, right? It was in the newsletter, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and what you think you might be able to, to do with the kits once you, once you get them home. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. That's why we wanted to check them out and see what was all there. We want to stay healthy. We, we mainly want to stay healthy. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. So uh, today we're handing out the AMP kits and, and along with a fresh baked cookie. And I'm not sure, are you here to get the cookie or the, or the AMP kit? I love sweets. Good to hear that you got your computer set up to do Zoom because we are going to have a, uh, a Zoom meeting uh, with AMP uh, that will be going on. We gave you a little slip of paper. Did you get the slip of paper there? Yeah, that's the, that's the paper. And so we would like people to try it out and sign up and, and uh, you know, learn a little more about Zoom and the AMP program. We'll have a gentleman, uh, one of our board members will be... Um, doing the zoom uh, meetings and because uh, we can't do it you know face to face right now i've paid very close attention you know to what i need and i just this i the senior center is extraordinary but what was really interesting i read that very well you know what that thing and it was all the things i've been thinking about yeah. so i'm going to really give this a good chance because the fact is that I can get all these worries that I have in one place. Plus, I have a number of friends that I have here, and I'm going to push. I'm not going to let them get away with not doing this, because I want to tell you what my you know I know a lot about these kinds of things. I'm a, a teacher, physics and math teacher, taught all my life and taught all over the world, and I tutor kids now on Zoom, so I'm ready. If you could give me your full name. Yes. Dirk Malcolm Horton. Or Dirk at work. Or excuse me, Dirk not at work. <laughs> Horton hears a who. <clears throat> okay. And 76 and full of tricks. That's great, Dirk. Uh, <laughs> I just handed you a, a kit. Yep. Did, did I hand you a cookie? I don't think I gave you a cookie. Well, I can understand because you didn't want me to. Therefore, I'll, I'll get you two cookies. Thank you. I owe you. Uh, so Dirk's with us today. Um, we have been advertising the AMP program, AG Mastery program, in our newsletter for a couple months. Um, do you know much about the program at all yet? Well, I actually have read all the resources, and that's what, that's what made me know that I should do it because, again, it takes all the issues that I've been worrying about and have to resource myself, and there it is. So I want to tell you what, this you've just saved me a tremendous amount of time because, you know, I have to do these things. Yep. And it's nice to have pe other people doing them and new ideas. And so I've been in, I've been in Wenatchee now for, um, this is, we're, we're at 24 years, and I want to tell you what, uh, I'm a lucky man to have found this wonderful valley. And the okay. Senior Center is a major part of it. Well, that uh, really, uh, 
that, that's a great publicity for the senior center and we really appreciate that. Um, along with the kit, there's a little form there for um, uh, registering for Zoom uh, meetings on AMP. So we would like you to, to look into that. And we have a gentleman, one of our board members who, uh, if you could get a hold of us with that, we'll answer any questions you might have before we get started. So. Well, uh, I've been using Zoom to tutor kids for a long time, and I that's another thing we're very lucky to have. So okay. thank you. Hello, Dave Tosh, Executive Director, Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. Today I'm with uh, Wayne Deerdorf. Wayne uh, has been a member of the Senior Center for a long time and a regular, I would say. Um, Wayne and I go back to the first day that I got here. Uh, Wayne was uh, one of those that came up and introduced himself and started telling me a little bit about his background. And uh, what I remembered right off the bat was is he grew up here and uh, had his family here, um, raised all of those folks and, and uh, work for the PUD. But what I do remember vividly is uh, a couple years ago when the Wenatchee World was still publishing the, uh, the 50 years ago today, the 100 years ago today, that column in the paper, there was a picture in there when Wayne was a young boy on back of his dad's truck in their orchard. You want to talk, do you remember that? I do remember that. What, what 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 do you remember about that about that picture when it was taken? We were my dad was uh, leasing this orchard from my grandparent grandpa, and uh, I was helping uh, bring the apples out of the orchard. That's when we had just the apple boxes, no dent, no bins. We had I think forty five hundred boxes of apples on that truck. My brother was two years older than me. He was in the truck and he was he was the driver and I was just there eating an apple. And I remember you eating the apple in the picture. <laughs> I walked into um, a, a, a restroom down here in one of the buildings in Wenatchee. Here was a big picture of that scene that I was just talking about. So who took the picture? I think my my uh, nephew, Kelly Gillen, he used to work there. He was a photographer, and I think he's the one that took the picture, but I don't know for sure. Well, it was a great picture because yeah. you had a mouthful of apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that must have been harvest time. Uh, you remember what year that might have been? Uh, well, I think I was 14, and that was 14 from 90. <laughs> you, you, you figure that out, so... Yeah, anyway. well, that's a long time ago. Yeah. So it must, maybe that was 75 years ago today. Probably, <laughs> but yeah. it was several years ago yeah, when they published it. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I found that uh, that to be interesting. Do you remember where that orchard was? What's yeah, it, What's I there do. today? <laughs> uh, well, it's all houses in, in the orchard. My, my grandfather uh, had the orchard. They, they moved out here from North Dakota uh, in 1921. And he bought that orchard and a house, and that's where the orchard was, where we were working. And that's in Sunny Slope area. Yeah, it's it's right on Easy Street, just up about a quarter of a mile from the intersection there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Close to town. We don't see too many orchards close to town no, anymore. No. No. <laughs> and it was all apples, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had he had a couple of peach trees there that were just for local use. But uh, that, was, that was it. And I remember there was 12 acres there, and, it, and we made a living on the 12, 12 acres. 12 acres. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So um, let's see. So you were born in Wenatchee? I was born yeah. in the Deaconess Hospital in Wenatchee. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, you're an original. We call you a native, I guess. I guess huh? maybe I'm a native. Yeah. <laughs> so then you uh, you graduated Wenatchee <laughs> High School, and uh, what what career did you pursue? I was going to get into electrical some somehow. I always liked that, and and I never. Well, when I got into uh, the PUD, I got into several different areas there. For, 
Uh, the only time I've got, did any electrical stuff for the PUD was, well, I read meters to start with. That's the starting job. Mm -hmm. And I worked my way up then to, into from Rock Island Dam for three years, and I worked at Rocky Reach for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, Let's see, the Rock Island Dam, was that built about the same time you went to uh, work? Or? I think Rock Island was built in about in the 30s, 30, 1934 or something like that, I think. I, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. So you went, uh, went to work uh, for the PUD right out of high school? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I, I went to uh, Indiana, lived there with my sister and brother-in-law for a few months, and we did carpenter work and things like that. So how many years did you have with the PUD when you retired? I had 30. Thirty. Uh, wait a minute. Thirty-three. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. So you retired pretty young. I did because I started <laughs> young. <laughs> yeah, I was only eighteen when I started. So uh, when you uh, when you retired, uh, did you travel? Uh, a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had uh, an RV and we traveled, trailer and motorhome and stuff like that. So. After you and uh, Laura got married, uh, I think you uh, you kind of decided you'd like to represent the the senior center as the king and queen. You know, talk about about that a little bit. Well, we we did. Uh, we kind of was talked into it, but we agreed to do it. And somebody uh, talked you into it. Well, there was a certain woman that thought we should be, <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, and, and we we were glad to do it. Yeah, and we had a lot of fun with that. And when we went to the big uh, dinner, uh, uh, the all service club, all service luncheon. club, yeah, and we met the man that was ex player for the Seahawks. Yeah, he thought. Well, I thought he was really a nice person. Yeah, you've known a lot of people in this valley. I have for a long time. People, <laughs> people recognize you, and uh, you know you've been involved in. Quite a bit, and so yeah, I can see where people would come up to you and say hi. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I I don't know very many people on Sunny Slope nowadays because it's growing so bad so much. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I used to know everybody at Sunny Slope because that's yeah. where I grew up. Yeah. The Stallings. Stallings. Yeah. Yeah. Ron Stallings and and Forey Stallings was. And my brother and I, his, his name is Stan, he passed away. Yeah. And uh, the four of us used to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny to talk to uh, some of the families about growing up in the Sunny Slope area. And, mm -hmm. and uh, that was good living. It that was. country, and yet we were close to town. And, you know. we, we used to walk the, the, another couple guys uh, and my brother and I, we used to walk to town every Sunday afternoon and, and uh, stop and buy something to eat after we got down here. It was about three and a half miles from where we lived. Uh -huh. So that was a good time. Well, thank you for your time today, Wayne. Okay, appreciate I appreciate it. being here too. And tell Laura hi. Okay? I will do that.